In this video, we're going to do problems one and problem number two because they're so short. So we'll combine them both for this video. This is circuits problem number one, where three resistors are shown connected in series. What is the equivalent resistance of this combination? And depending on what version of the sheet you have, R1 should be 2.60 ohms, so double check your version has that. Now in series, resistors just add up. So for these three resistors in series, you could replace it by an equivalent resistance that's just the sum of R1, R2, and R3. So in this case, the equivalent resistance is just 12.60 ohms. Now let's look at problem two. Problem number two has the same three resistors as problem number one, but this time they're connected in parallel instead of series. So we're gonna find their equivalent resistance when they're connected this way. Now adding resistors in parallel is a little trickier because you have to add the inverses of the individual resistances. And that will equal the inverse of the equivalent resistance. So I'll just plug in my resistances here. When I do this, I get one over R parallel equals this nice long number. Now here's where a big mistake happens with students because a lot of people will go, oh, the equivalent resistance is 0.801 ohms. But remember, we have to redo the inverse in order to solve for RP. So we're going to need to take the 1 over this number to find RP, which gives us a final equivalent resistance of 1.248 ohms. And it's interesting to note that you can see that in parallel, the more resistors you add in parallel, the less the overall equivalent resistance of that combination is. So it's weird that by adding more electrical resistors, you actually can get less resistance if you add them in parallel. It's a weird little phenomenon, but it's what we observe. 